Yo, what's good YouTube, it's InstantW2K back with another video and today I just saw an article that made me cringe a little bit. It's uh, posted by the Sports Rush and it says, the title is, Get them all on the Lakers. LeVar Ball has been pushing Michael Jordan to get all three Ball brothers to play on the Hornets. Now, I can see LaMelo and Lonzo going to Charlotte. You know, I can see that as a nice little backcourt, you know, a nice little story tale, things like that. But the sad truth about LiAngelo is, the only way I can see him actually making the NBA is if his two brothers become like the best two point guards in the whole NBA. Because when you're literally your whole career is betting on your brothers to be amazing and you have your father out here going, oh, he's so good. Oh, he's so good. Where's the tape then? Because you just go to his Instagram page. It's just him flexing his brothers, his, his money. Like, okay, we get it. You got some money. All right, now get in the gym. Start working on your shot. I mean, obviously, he's apparently he is the better shooter out of all of them, which I can see happening. You know, he does have the most standard shooting form, as you can see from the clips behind me presented by Baller's Life. Link down bio, link down below. But when you have people like the Hoop Central tweeting, Jello is better than Lamelo," you don't think I know who's better. LeVar Ball, I emoji. If he is so good, then why isn't he in, in the G League? Why isn't he playing for a professional team? Why isn't he playing at a collegiate level? Just, he needs to play something. Like, even if he plays... Like, honestly, I can see an Australian team where I'm from just picking him up, you know? Just, he needs to play somewhere. He can't just be out here, you know, just working out every day, doing jump shots, you know, all that type of stuff. It's It's got to be proven within a game. Yes, he did absolutely insane in Lithuania, but the problem is nobody really cared, to be honest, because no one knew what Lithuania was about. No one knew about it because you had him coming in and he could just dominate straight away, which, you know, is props to him. You know, obviously, he's a top-tier basketball player. He's better than me. He's better than, honestly... Over 80% are probably the population. Like, if we're being honest here, the fact that he's at least gotten to UCAL level, you know, yes, he didn't play because of the whole scheme and things like that. Yes, he did make the G League, kind of. You know, that's some props to him, but the sad truth is, I can't see him making the NBA. Like, it's, I'm, I'm being serious, because when it all comes down to it, you're betting on your brothers to be the best of the best for you to even make the make the NBA, which is, it's not a good sign, man. It's not a good sign. You haven't even been playing. You've been injured quite a bit. I think it's your knee or your ankle, something like that. You know, I know you had to have surgery, you know. You know, that's a bad part. But you just got to be playing games. You got to be putting yourself out there for scouts to see. You can't just be in your backyard, in your parents' backyard, on your full court basketball court, dominating versus some high school players or whatever right you got to be out there you got to be proving itself you know even if you you know play some scrimmages with you know some NBA players I'm sure you know Lamelo Alonso could get you an invite to one of those you know you see them all the time just out there and you know hey for all no it comes you could get a professional deal overseas yes I can see him playing overseas ball you know I'm surprised he didn't try and get a contract when Lamelo came over to Australia. You know, even if it wasn't the same team, just a different team. Just, he needs to get himself out there. He needs to get himself out into the public. He needs to get himself playing some games, you know, at a professional level. You know, it, yes, it might not be the NBA. Yes, you not, might not be making, you know, $10 million a year straight away. You know, you're gonna, you know, I'm sure you're set financially. You brothers have made a crap ton of money i'm sure you've made a crap ton of money especially off the big baller brand with your signature shoe on your line and stuff like that based off your instagram page you know he's got a he's just got to get out into the public view like i think that's just what it comes down to because when you go into his instagram page it's just him just flexing yes he's absolutely swole you know there's no doubt about that he's an insane athlete you got to give him props for that but when it all comes down to it he hasn't shown us any clips any highlights anything like that you know that's just what it comes down to man so and you know the end of the, if you're watching this which i doubt you are just i don't really know man just 
keep going at it, I guess. But when it comes down to it, he's got to get better. I mean, yes, he's obviously better than 80% of bowlers probably out there. He could dominate, you know, a high school level, things like that, obviously, because he's a grown man. Probably do all right in uh, NCAA. Nothing crazy. But he just hasn't been playing organized basketball when it comes down to it. He's got to play more organized basketball. That's the best bet for him to make the NBA, in my opinion. You know, as someone who's been watching the NBA for 15 years, you've got to, you know, maybe not 15 years, maybe like 10 years, but you've got to play some organized basketball, get your name up, play against some, some relatively good competition, you know, college players and above. And then, hey man, the G League might come knock and get on the G League. Go out there, dominate that, and get yourself a deal, man. But anyway, guys, thank you for watching. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.